Hi everyone, Julie here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I thought I'd put together a little bit of a video on how to extend your backdrop. So we had an awesome workshop this morning, but we did have kind of a, a smallish backdrop that we we're working on so sometimes we would extend past that and it's quite easy to fix you can do it in Lightroom it is much easier to do it in Photoshop but I thought I would show you on this particular image now I didn't take many photos this morning but um, I'll show you on this image and I'll show you on another image that I took and I'll show you how to do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the heel tool you can also try the content aware or the rem, um, the clone tool so let's go over to content aware i'm just going to make this a little bit bigger and i'm going to go just do an area at a time and just give it a second okay so i'm just going to zoom in there and i'm just going to no not visualize spots I want it so I want to see where it grabbed it from I might even try the repair tool see it's grabbed it from here so it's let me just zoom out a bit it's grabbed some of that fabric so I'm going to pull that up I could probably even oh, pop that over there needs to have a bit of a play so grab a bit more grab a bit more see it's going to start struggling struggling here with the fabric but if you just do little bits at a time um, that one's probably too big so keeping in mind the area that we've got here so don't go any more than that so let's just try for that and again I'm just going to grab this and move it up and do a little bit more oh that's probably too much it's going to try and grab from there so I'm going to move that back up there again so I'm still just sampling from the same area and I I'm pretty sure you get the gist of it by now so you can just work your way through I'm just going to get rid of all of those and Oh, one more so what I want to do is I'm just going to close that off and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is in Photoshop so I'm just going to edit in and go to Photoshop okay so that's opened that up in Photoshop and what I'm going to do is grab the lasso tool and work around that area and it's really good if it's a little more complicated if like her hands over the edge but as long as you've got a little bit of black to work with now there's a couple of things I could do I could just paint that in black or if I right click I can fill or content aware fill or generative fill or delete and fill section so sometimes one works better than the other but if I just go to fill I've got content aware and I'm just going to click OK let Photoshop do its thing now it has selected some of the fabric so I'm going to go undo and try again so I'm going to go to content aware fill and I am going to get rid of everything that I don't want to use so we really only want to use the black backdrop and there we go so that's got it in there so there's your preview there if I hit OK
and that has filled it now it has put it on a separate layer you can then just merge the two or you can leave it there and just hit save and go back to whatever but let's just try again even though it did a great job I'm going to let's go to delete and fill so if you've got a light or something like that in your shot that you want to get rid of sometimes the delete and fill can do a really good job again it's picked up that fabric because we were quite close so if I undo that and try again now I'm going to go to generative fill this is using the AI um, you could just put you know black background and do it that way or you could leave it blank and just hit generate you don't have to put prompts in for the AI you can just leave it plain especially on something like this because I'm sure it's smart enough to figure out we just want to make it black like the rest of the background and it's done a pretty good job apart from one little bit so you know obviously some things work better than others of course you could come in just sample the paint in the background and paint it in but I'm going to go back to that content aware which is my best one for today but I am just going to because it's on minus you can see the minus there if I hit alt I'll show you in a second let me just get rid of all this so if I want to add to it if I press alt it now changes to a plus sign so I just want to remove it off all of that fabric now I can tell it to come on a new layer or I can tell it to go to the current layer so it will add it to the current layer if you prefer and that's it all done so I will I can quickly show you how to and the the fill is really good if you use the lasso to get rid of stuff like this as well content aware bam gone fill any of the mess on that backdrop instantly gone oh, I was a little too enthusiastic then but yeah so you can go through and do that so give me a second I'll grab another image and I will show you how to extend it on another one as well okay so I'm back this was from another shoot same backdrop same model <laughs> same lighting but it's just slightly different but it's no no different here so I'm just going to grab my lasso tool and I'm going to go to content aware because it just works so much better I don't want it to sample from my model or that messy background and I'm just going to let it pick now if you tell it to go on a new layer which is fine you have to make sure when you go to do it again for the other side that you do it on the base layer so drop back to the base layer come back in right click content aware fill again you don't want it on her and you don't want it on that bit in the background because remember on the original layer that is done so I'm going to click that it looks pretty good there I'm just going to hit OK and perfection I have extended my backdrop so there's black on either side so it's as simple as that you can do it in Lightroom but it is fiddly and it takes a lot longer whereas if you come into Photoshop it's really really super simple so thanks for watching Bye for now.